welcome back here to Global State University in the athletic department. We are back here in the Waco Center with the coaches show. In this segment, we have women's head golf coach, Mike McGarry. Coach, thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you. Coming off a full weekend of golf. Four days in a row. Well, it was scheduled before we played three. Yeah, back-to-back tournaments and uh, to get to kick off the uh, much anticipated 2022, uh, the championship segment of the Mountain East Conference. Yeah. Uh, here in the fall, uh, we're just uh, less than a month away from the, the championships up at Avalon Lakes. And it opened up at Notre Dame up there at Windmill Lakes. Uh, opened up with a, with a victory for the women and a record-setting victory. Tell yeah. us about those uh, two days up there. Well, we played at Windmill Lakes Golf Course, which is Kent State's home golf course. Kent State, every year, men's and women top 25 ranked. So the golf course is no slouch. For whatever reason, my girls played their best golf there. And, the, and a couple of the girls indicated, they, they said, Coach, they said, this golf course is a mirror image to Avalon Lakes. So fingers crossed that that carries over in a month from today, or a month from yesterday, excuse me. Um, drove the ball well, putted well. Everybody seemed to gel. The, the team chemistry is perfect. It's absolutely perfect. We got the new kids, you know, latching on with, with the veterans, and the veterans are, you know, rolling out the red carpet and, and putting them in the right direction. I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled, thrilled with what I see. And you with the, uh, you know, setting the record for a single round, setting a record for a, a two round tournament up there. Uh, I believe the average 76 uh, yeah. on day one, and the uh, in from our earlier conversations, you were talking about. The short game. His team was there that if they were soft 130, 140 yards in, uh, I know speaking to you over the weekend that you were getting that up there. Uh, we were. In, we were. in northeastern Ohio. We did. Um, there's nothing. Here's the funny thing, and this is gonna you're going to think this is nuts. We have yet to play well. We're not even playing well. The complete package. The segments we've worked on the last three weeks, that is showing huge dividends. It's paying huge dividends. But when it all comes together, if it comes together, golf's a unique game, as you know. Um, it could be really exciting, but then again, it's golf, so. Yeah. And they're 18 year old kids. And so you made, uh, you know, had that, didn't, didn't have time to rest on the laurels and got right back out there the next morning and uh, uh, played and went over to Bell Vernon PA to the Vulcan Invitational and uh, the uh, ended up finishing second in a very big field over there. Uh, tell me about that again. I know it was a crazy day weather wise, but uh, about that round. Well, then we flipped the switch. So last night, we well, yesterday morning I got up early, went over for the coaches meet at 7 a.m. I looked at the, this, our scores, and it, it backfired. So our wedge play on the holes 335 or less, where we're hitting wedges, nines, and eight irons into the greens, we're making bogeys galore. So we had a team meeting last night to clean that up. So, I mean, who knows? Again, they're kids. It's a different area. It's a different venue. It's, it's, it's more up and down type of golf course, whereas Windmill Lakes is a little flatter. Um, the greens over it at Cedarbrook are much tighter. They're not as big and oval as you get up at, at Windmill Lakes. But all in all, I'm not unhappy, but I'm never happy. You always want more. And in golf, it's always woulda, coulda, shoulda. Yeah. So we'll, we'll, we'll clean it up. We'll work on some things this week mm-hmm. and go from there. You talked about the chemistry, and again, you had different different young ladies stepping up. I know Haley Hendershot had the big day right off the bat, and then you had Grace and Kendall with big rounds, and uh, the, uh, uh, the the second unit, which was called the Developmental Squad, you had a B team in there. You know, you had some 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 low eighties there as well with uh, Sigalski, and then you had you know Libby playing on it with that group on the day too. So just to speak to you, we spoke about the depth, but now it's in fruition. You see those numbers. You see my smile getting bigger. Yeah, our developmental team. Team B, if you will, goes to Bella Vernon and would have finished fifth out of 12 teams. They beat, they shot 341, which is phenomenal. They finished two shots from out of fourth to Millersville. You know, they beat Wheeling, they beat DE, they beat Barton from down south in Car- North yeah. Carolina. I mean, we played very, very well. I mean, everything is, ex- is starting to come to fruition according to the plan that I laid out a couple years ago. And I'm excited by it. That, Sigalski's playing great. Yeah. Libby's doing exactly what she's supposed to do. Deborah Hill, 90, 87, 85. You know, yeah. everything's coming right along the, according to plan. 
So a solid group, solid group, and you got this in your hip pocket. Now again, it's all in preparation, you know, for for you know conference, and you hope down the road uh, NCAA regionals. You hope but, that'd be fun. But uh, the next step, you know, going up uh, for up, up to the Youngstown area this weekend, up to Mill Creek. What 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 are you looking to get out of this weekend with this? <clears throat> well, we're going to a D1 tournament. There's five other D2 teams, Ashland, Tiffin, Malone, Walsh. I mean, they, teams, these yeah. are the big hitters of, out of Ohio. And, you know, we're playing Cleveland State, Akron, Youngstown State, Niagara, St. Mary's, uh, Mount St. Mary's, and uh, St. Francis. I mean, if we go up there and we stick the court in the plan, we, we drive the ball very well. And I'll still say that. We drive the ball as well as, you know, as anybody. But um, we don't close the deal. If we can close the deal at 6,200 yards this week, we may be pleasantly surprised. Mm. It's just they're eighteen-year-old kids, yeah. and and Mill Creek is really narrow. It reminds me of Hole Two out, out of Glenville. I mean, if you can if you can drive the ball in Hole Two at Glenville, you can play any, you can drive the ball in any golf course. It's that narrow. It's a bowling alley, is what it is. Yeah, but this time of year, I know that's what you're looking for to put in a position it. where they're dealing with the tight fairways. And, yep. Uh, but what you uh, just moving forward about you know because. It, you're playing a lot of golf, you know, they got their classes and, and their college life here about compartmentalizing everything in preparation for that next tournament. And again, there's a lot of young players, you know, uh, how, you know, you address that, you know, from a team standpoint? Well, it was simple. So yesterday we got rained out. I told everybody, get in the library, get your hours in, study hall today. We had a team meeting last night to address some things about the golf and again, Today, there's no golf courses open because of the weather. Stonewall's closed. Sunnycroft is closed. Mm -hmm. Our golf course, is, so it's, let's get back into the lily. Let's do some fundamentals and let's get back at the academics. Again, it's gotta be academics first, athletics second, and then social life. And I do have a formula based on each, which will you know, give us a balance, mm -hmm. along with the good grades. Well, I'll tell you what, again, it's a, it was a nice battle with several conference teams and you know, you see got us by a little bit there, so it's going to be a good battle moving forward. Yeah. They're good. They are good. Yeah. There's no doubt about it. Everybody and we are, too. We're just, we're just young. We just have to grow up and make better decisions. We'll be all right. Uh, well, really, pre really appreciate you coming and joining us today. Be looking forward to talking yep. next week about the trip up to Mill Creek. Yep. And thank you all for joining us out there. See you next week.